a scientific notation is given, I want you to convert that to a standard notation. So that means the first problem, I have 8.9340. Oh, before I, I continue, once again, this number must be between 1 and 10, including 1, but not including 10. Okay, so this check, check my number between 1 and 10, right? The third number, this we got the negative, 1.2040 is between 1 and 10. The last number, 3.14, is between 1 and 10. From scientific to a standard notation, the way I do this is uh, I look at the exponent first. The exponent is 15. 15 means you have to move the decimal point 15 steps to the right. So the way I do this is, let's say you are not familiar with that, I will just do some scratch work and then do some erasing at the end. I will do 8, 9, 3, 4, and then I will just prepare a bunch of zeros on the right hand side. Okay, I'm not saying I will keep all of them, but I will use them as a scratch work. So. 15 that means i have to move the decimal point 15 steps to the right so starting right here so let's do it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so the decimal point stops right here right and then i will just erase the last zero uh with some practice, you can just report this as your final answer. And then uh, what I usually do is I will just add a comma between every three digits. So that will be my standard notation. And then how about a negative exponent? A negative exponent means you are moving the decimal point to the left. So this one uh, for positive exponent, so positive exponent, move the decimal point to the right so move the decimal to the right and then for negative exponent so for negative exponent move the decimal to the left To the left that means i have to prepare many many zeros on the left hand side of four so let's do it so prepare some zeros since that is a 12 i will just prepare a few more four five zero six seven and then where is my decimal point my decimal point is right here right so that is the start and then let's do the move one two three four five six seven Okay, let's redo it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right there. And then all you have to do is you pick up your eraser and then erase this and then you put a decimal point right there. So this time let's don't do that. I am going to put a decimal point like right here. So I'm going to take this as my scratch work and then I will do zero point wow how many zeros i usually just because i have been doing this so many times i usually just do it one line so i don't have to count the zero one more time but at this oh but by, by, by the way this doesn't count zero point okay uh zero point 14 is the same thing as point 14 right two decimal places the zero on the left hand side of the decimal point doesn't count all right how many zeros that's a more point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven four five zero six seven so that would be my final answer and then uh, i know some people they don't like writing this zero which is fine but i get get used to it i always i always put a zero point right there so 25 cents i would just do zero point 25 dollars instead of saying um, point 25 the next next one 18 you have to move the decimal 18 steps to the to the to to, to where to the right okay this one 1.20 right you know what i will just not write that one two zero four zero 
and then prepare many many zeros on the right. Okay, my scratch work is ready. Let's do the move. Starting at 1.2, 18 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right there. That is what, where the decimal point should be. So I will just do 1, 2, 0, 4. Just line, line them up. All right, that's it. So that is my standard form. And then the last one, negative exponent, that means you move the decimal to the left. So I'm going to prepare many, many zeros. And then 3, 14, all right. Let me use my highlighter to do the move. So 3.14, this is where I start, 3.14 to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ta -da, right there. So this is 0 point, just line, 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 them, line them up. All the 0, and then 3, 1, 4. Oh, for decimal, you do not need to use comma, okay? You do not need to use comma. That, that is not right. You cannot put comma in there. All right, that's it. That's how you do from scientific notation to standard notation. With some practice, you can just do the move and then skip those scratch work. But as a beginner, I highly, highly recommend you to do the scratch work because that's how I do it when I was learning scientific notation. Alright, I will see you all in the next video for more scientific notation stuff. See you there.